There is a new twist in the fight over a school mural that some people consider to be offensive. KPI X5's Betty Yu live at Washington High School tonight with a judge's surprise decision today. Betty? Can a superior court judge overturn the school board's decision to remove a massive controversial mural here, saying that the school board did not obey state rules? This is the mural at the center of a years-long legal fight. It's called the Life of Washington, a fixture at George Washington High School for more than 80 years. In two places on the mural, critics point to negative depictions of Native Americans and slaves. Maybe the content is controversial according to our mindset nowadays, but at the time it was a very, very valuable work of art. In 2019, the San Francisco Unified School Board voted to cover up the artwork, but an alumni board sued. A judge agreed, stating California, as a matter of long-standing public policy, places enormous value on its environmental and historical resources, and the people are entitled to expect public officials to give more than lip service to the laws designed to protect those resources. The order added that the school board did not conduct an environmental review for removing the mural, as is required by law. Carol Gaddis is a former art teacher who discussed the murals with her students. She supports the judge's decision. I find the whole thing of slavery offensive, of course. I find the degradation of the Indians, the, the, uh, the atrocities, but it's history. And this is where we can learn history. History is illustrated by paintings. Resident Dolores Verdon's daughter attended George Washington and though she finds the subject matter disturbing. I'm very glad they're keeping it. It, it, it needs to be kept in the curriculum as uh, a teaching tool. Kind of interesting, Betty. Uh, school board decides to cover this thing up and then they get reversed by a judge. Interested tonight on what their reaction to this uh, latest legal maneuver is. Well, I did reach the school board president tonight, and all she said was that the board has received the order and their legal counsel is currently reviewing it. Ken? All right. We'll stay on the story. Betty, you reporting live. Thank you, Betty.